April 28th, and I will be doing question 13A from lesson 5.4. It is found in the textbook, page 241. So the question asks to factor this expression y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. To do this, first I'll use all the factors and list them beside the fa uh, underneath the first and the last term. So now I will see which ones add up to positive 4. Sorry, add up to negative 4. Anyways, I start with 1 and 1. 1 and 12. No combination of 1 and 12 will give me a negative 4. Cross them over. It's actually the same thing. Nothing there either. So now I go with 2 and 6. It will work because 6 minus 2 is 4. Only that the 6 needs to be negative. So if we have 2 plus a negative 6, we get a 4. So I'll write that out in permanent. Okay. So this is the pair of factors that I use. Since I know that the answer will end up with brackets, I put them there. And the first term of the equation as factored will go into as the first term in the two brackets. I then switch the numbers so 2 for 1 goes to the second and there's a positive there so so I add 2 and 1 and 6, I put the 6 in the first one. And since there's a negative in front of it, put a negative 6. This is the final answer. Thirteen B asks for the x-intercepts of the parabola. So what I've done is taken each of the brackets and put them as separate equations. And to find the x-intercept, I'll set the y to zero and then solve for x.
So these two are the extra sets. If you want to put them in co as coordinates, it would be six zero and negative two zero. Thirteen C asks us to find the equation of the axis of symmetry, find the vertex, and draw the graph. So first we already know that our x axis our x intercepts are two negative two and positive six. So, graph that first. We need to find the vertex. So, we have a formula for that. The formula is R plus S. And that would be the x coordinate of the vertex, and then y. The y we have to solve for later. So first, our r and s are our two x intercepts, which are negative 2 and 6. So I'll plug them into the equation and have this becomes four over two and that becomes two. So our x coordinate for our vertex it is two. Obviously, our vertex will be here. So two is our x. As for our y we have to plug that into the above equation. y equals x minus 6, x plus 2. So, instead of the x, we replace it with are 2, which we have found as the x coordinate of the vertex. So 2 minus 6 2 plus 2. Ace is loaded, two out. This will give us negative 4 and a positive 4, which should be the case. We should have a positive and negative. And the answer is negative 16. So our vertex coordinate is Two negative sixteen. To 
find the axis of symmetry, it's fairly simple. The vertex x coordinate is on the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry equation is x equals two. Also when you graph this is how it will look. These are the this is the x intercept, this is also an x intercept. The green line is the axis of symmetry and right here is the vertex two negative sixteen.